Okay, so one fine afternoon I was watching The Office on my laptop and I saw a scene where Michael Scott, one of the leading character of that web series, was recording a video for the future. Hello, son. If you're watching this, that means I'm already dead. Life is over. How do you know it's going to be a boy? How? Would you stop interrupting, please? Watching that, an idea came into my mind. Why don't I make a time capsule video? A video which is scheduled to release after 10,000 years. So I quickly recorded and uploaded a video and scheduled it for 2015. Wait, what? Apparently, you can only schedule a video two years ahead. Means you cannot schedule a video on YouTube more than two years from now. What a bummer. Bruh. Why do every idea I think of needs to end so early? That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, thank you for clicking on this clickbait. I hope you have a nice day. It's your boy Jaydeep Dalekar signing off. Bye bye. शुरू होते खत्म हुए यार I came across two videos. First one where a guy managed to schedule a video for 31st December 2100. We're going to try and schedule that a lot further. So change schedule time. This is going to take a long time to do and it turns out that you can schedule a YouTube video on the mobile app December 31st 2100 for 11:59 p.m. the longest possible time you can select there's a bug slash loophole in the youtube studio app where you can schedule the video up to 2100 that's interesting the second video was a video where its title kept updating with the number of views it had this is the story of how i made that changing title work why it used to be a lot easier to make things like that work that's cool so i thought even i'm a programmer well i don't have a job but uh... Anyway, what if I write a code by which I'm able to schedule a video beyond 2100, like thousands of years into the future? But wait, will I be even alive till then? So I went on to Google to check the average human. Wait, what's that? First of all, why is Google thinking I'm looking for this? But wait, what? Just six seconds. Anyway coming back to the story after 6 seconds I searched for I searched for the average human lifespan it's around 79 years and for someone living in India it's 69 no doubt why we fascinate 69 so much so now it was on me whether I saw humanity or I be selfish and schedule a video in my lifespan so that me my wife if I find one and my kids would watch it together while having a good family time the decision was very tough because i had to choose between humanity's future and my future between future generation and my generation it took me hours and hours to think about what to do but finally i came to a conclusion and i thought fuck it i'll just make it i'll get more views now Okay so the plan is on Step 1 was to record a video I had to make sure that I'm making a video which anyone in more than a thousand years would watch and understand it So here's a glimpse of what I recorded Hello world Hello to the far distance humans or else aliens if it's aliens who have captured it and watching this video then you probably would not be understanding my language uh, but no i i believe you would be uh, familiar with our language as of now because you are aliens right you are pretty smart and you would be understanding english i myself took 5 years of schooling to learn this language english so well i think that works If this video gets more than 8000 likes then I'll mention the link to the unlisted video down in the pinned comment. So smash that like and subscribe button. Step 1 done. Moving on to step 2, it includes finding how will I be able to do it. Well, that's a little tricky part. As you can only schedule any video for 2 years and if using studio app 2100 years, but how to schedule beyond it? The question is what can I code to have the video post thousands of years from now? I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought and after thinking for many years I finally came up with nothing nothing at all I'm bad at critical thinking one of the reasons why I don't have a job when I was watching this video I thought maybe it can be useful so I searched and managed to get code for it <laughs> yeah boy
but there was a huge problem the code that they had used was not for scheduling videos it only fetched video views likes comments and changed the title that's it but it was using youtube's api so i went on to its documentation and what i found was dozens and dozens of text with even more text for every subcategory it had and even more colorful text in sub subcategory i was pretty sure that i'm not reading this thing why don't you explain this to me like i am an 8 year old but yet after an eternity i managed to somehow read all of it and understand every bit of it <laughs> no i'm 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 just kidding i made my software engineer friend read it hi i am the software engineer friend i don't have a job why would i read it duh, duh. perks of being jobless kids so basically inside all those sub functions and methods there is a function called publish at so if i set its value with some date time then that code will schedule my video for that date i was so happy i had finally done it so i quickly went on to google scripts that's where my code is and wrote down the code hit the run button and the code was finally executed so i went on to youtube studio open the video section and there was my video which was not scheduled so i went back checked if my code had any bugs i was ready with the bug spray <laughs> But luckily it didn't had any bug. Phew. So why was my code not working? I again went on to YouTube API documentation. Uh well made my program a friend go to it. LOL. You are nothing without me. You will need to add one more line of code where you set the privacy status property to private. Huh. Noob. So I did what it said again hit run code got executed when when I checked yet the same thing no changes well now it only leaves me with one place to go for solutions is it me no 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 not not you so I quickly opened the 150th tab on my chrome open stack overflow and search for the problem i was facing By the way anyone of you who don't know what stack overflow is it basically has answers to all programming related questions and average programmer spends 90% of their life on stack overflow and the rest 10% is the disappointment of choosing this field Okay so when i searched i got to know that i had to write the date in iso 8601 format which is yyy mm dt thh mm sss means year months day hour minute seconds and time zone i don't know about the format but it does sound like very strong password so i did it i rewrote date in that format ran it executed it and now we're pretty much ready and when i go and check on youtube studios it is Come on guys now you also know these drum rolls are for nothing you also know my code is yet not working i'm yet to find and sell what it is scheduled 10000 years so the video is scheduled for january 1st 10000 years at 5:29 am oh my god wow we did it i mean just me because i wrote the code and made the whole video and you you just saw it so not we just just me but i just said it for you you get it But wait, you may think or ask, what's the proof of it? Like none of us would be around to watch it and confirm that it really happened. I may be telling a lie. Who knows? So, so open my fridge, took dozens of lemons, squeezed them, drank that water, and got drunk. Recorded myself, wrote code to make it public for one year, five year from now, and ten years from now. Basically, I made three different videos to go live on three different years. So now all those haters would doubt me and comment on my videos that this is a fake video. He's telling lie. Can take their comments and shove it up your butt. <laughs> so now I can relax and enjoy my life.